Hi again, I hope you follow the previous video where I presented to you the map that you're going to build in this section. So that was a web map and as you may realize to, to build that web map the default Python installation is not enough because uh, logically a Python cannot have every possible functionality uh, by default because uh, if it had all the functionalities then uh, Python would become very heavy. Therefore it's a smart choice to have external libraries that you may choose to install or not. And this is the case of web mapping. So to build the web map that I showed you in the previous lecture, you need a library, a third party library, which is called Folium. So as you may realize, you need to install that library. Now, just a note, um, I had some previous videos about this section, some old videos, but I had to change them. So I'm recording new videos now. This is a new video, updated video and all the next videos of this section because Folium had uh, made some changes in the code compared to the previous versions and therefore I had to remake the videos. Now, uh, this time I'm using a Mac computer but that will not make any difference so if you're on a Windows, Linux or Mac everything will work exactly the same. The only difference is the way you open Atom, of course so on, uh, on uh, Windows, please create an, an empty folder where you will be keeping the files for this project. Mm, so my folder here on Mac is mapping and on Windows you can uh, hold the shift and right click and then go to open Atom here, to open Atom in this folder. On a Mac you can press command uh, space Atom And then go to view, developer open in dev mode, and then locate the folder and click open. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to close all this. Uh, let me open the terminal. And now go ahead and install volume. To do that, you need to type pip install volume. Uh, normally, you'd have to do this on Windows. On Mac, if you have uh, two installations of Python, you may need to do pip3. So that will explicitly say to install uh, volume for Python 3. So volume was installed successfully. If you have a message saying that uh, Jinja2 is required for this package and just go ahead and do pip3 install Jinja2. However, I expect that Folium will install Jinja2 by default as it did for me, so it should be good to go. Once you've done that, I'm going to open Python, actually Python 3. On a Mac you need to specify Python 3 explicitly. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a basic web map and I'm going to use a Python interactive shell for that so that I show you things around. So uh, try to import volume. If you get no errors, that means uh, volume has been installed successfully. Now, how does volume work? Well, everything spins around a so-called map object. So the very first thing you need to do uh, once you import volume is you need to create a map object. So I'm using a variable to store that uh, map object and then equal to volume.map. Uh, so this is the class that creates this object. If you want, you can actually check the volume to get a list of available objects that you can um, use on volume. So here is map. Ignore the others for now, we'll go through them later. You can also ask for help now, volume.map, to see what you can pass to this map object. Uh, create a map with volume and leaflet.js. So uh, what volume does is it actually produces you use Python, so you write Python code, and, and that Python code will convert automatically to JavaScript and HTML code and CSS code. 
because you need JavaScript, CSS, and, and HTML to create web maps. You cannot do that with Python code directly. So the browser reads HTML, CSS, and, and JavaScript and renders those, the code of these three programming languages to elements, so like um, text and lines and points and pictures. So that's what Folium does. And that's a wonderful thing that you can do that with Python, through Python. Anyway, you can look here, down here in parameters. Uh, you can pass a location parameter in here. And you can specify the width. Anyway, if you don't specify the width, a default width of 100% of the browser area will be used. So you don't have to pass a width and hide as well. And then you have tiles. Default is OpenStreetMap tiles. So tiles is the background of the map. You're going to see that in a minute. You have other parameters as well, which you can look by yourself, I believe. Okay, I pressed Q to exit the help. And let's go ahead and create the map object, finally. Volume.map. Mm, so, location, you need to pass a location parameter there so that uh, the map knows where to open. So it may open, uh, let's say, near Alaska or near Greenland or South Africa. Uh, we're talking about the initial view, but then you can zoom in and out. So let me uh, pass a random location. Locations, by the way, are given through coordinates. And by default, you need to pass geographic coordinates, which is latitude and longitude. Uh, so latitude ranges from minus 90 to 0 to 90. So let me pass 80 there. By the way, this goes inside the list, actually. So 80, a comma, and then the longitude. The longitude ranges from 0 to minus 180 and 0 to 180. Let me pass minus um, 100 and close the bracket. So you pass a list of coordinates to location. And actually that's enough. You can have a map object with that. Execute, you don't get an error. That means everything is working fine. Mm, so now you have a map object but that's just an object inside Python. You haven't translated that object into HTML and, and CSS and JavaScript code just yet. So what you need to do next is point to that map object and then use the save method and then pass a name for the map, for the map file that will be created. And of course, the maps will be created in HTML format. So HTML is um, what contains all these elements that render on the browser. So text and visuals and so on. Close the bracket, execute. And as you see, a file was added in here, map1.html. Let me go to uh, the folder, double click that. That will open in your default browser. So this is just a random location. I don't know what it is. Migan Island. Oh, that seems to be in Canada, very north of Canada. Yeah, this is it. This is the web map. If you zoom in, you'll see more details on the map like that. So the more you zoom in, the more elements you see. Yeah, that's what I wanted to show you. And if, if you want a, another location, you'd want to change the coordinates in here, uh, in location. Uh, but if you don't know what coordinates your, your favorite place has, then there, are, there may be different ways to discover that, but a quick way is to go to maps.google.com. And uh, let's say you want to know the uh, let me zoom in here. You know, you want to center the map around this location. So right click there and go to what's here. Copy these coordinates. 
copy those coordinates or if you cannot copy them just remember them so 38.58 approximately and minus 99 times 09 okay then you need to save the map again map1.html and that will override the previous map so go here reload and you see now we have a different center of the map and of course you can also play around with the zoom so you can add a zoom parameter in here this is called the zoom start let's put it at six and don't forget to close the brackets in here okay execute upper arrow key to call a previously executed statement like map save well, you can also mm, choose to go to the browser and reload with with uh, control r or command r and that will show you the new map with another zoom factor and yeah that's about it try to play around with this a little bit and in the next lecture i'll show you how to add points to this map i'll see you there